<laughs> the master of stupid ideas is back. It's, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh idea. You probably already saw the title. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this in the title, but I went to Target and I noticed a little Som Som at the Target. And that something is these random little collectible Yu-Gi-Oh mini figures. And apparently it's a random thing you can get this isn't sponsored, by the way. I just saw this at Target. You can get like Dark Magician, Exodia, Yugi, uh, you know, all these things. And what I'm going to do is, depending on what I pull from this, I'm going to make a deck out of it and um, basically go into Master Duel Ranked and uh, just see what I can do. I have no idea what I'm going to pull. Hopefully, it's something that I already have a deck built for. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, there's main characters and stuff. So like Joey, Kaiba, Yugi. If I get one of those characters, then I'll just build the deck themed off of them. Let's say, I don't know, 80% of the deck has to be cards they actually use in the series. And then the other ones, I can throw in some random staples or something like that. I don't know. Um, but let's see what I get. I don't know which one to pick. I have a lot of these. So if you guys want me to do this again, let me know in the comment section below. And if this gets enough support, then I will come back and do more. All right, step one, figure out how to open this. I think I just, like a bag of chips. Yeah, okay. All right, see what we get. Editor, dramatic music, hit it. Blue eyes, white dragon. Um, all right, I mean, it's an iconic thing to start with, I guess. Let's put it together really quick. All right, the blue eyes, white dragon is gonna be the first thing that we pull. And uh, I'll have a dupe claw, so if I get the same thing next time, uh, then I will be able to switch it. But for now, the Blue Eyes White Dragon will be the first deck that we put together in Master Duel. And I think I have one laying around, uh, so let's let's do it. All right, so first, let's see if we have one laying around, a random little Blue Eyes deck. I want to say I had one at some point, but I might have... All right, it's the very bottom deck. Oh, no, I have a Blue Eyes work in progress, too. Let's see what I was working with here. Here, I guess. And again, it's not going to be optimal blue eyes. I'm glad I don't have to sit here and actually just build one. But uh, we are going to be running a little bit of Chaos Max. I'm probably just going to stick with this. Less thought process and I can just kind of jump into the duels. And it's very blue eyes themed. As you can see, I'm even running cards that you might not see in an optimal blue eyes deck. Uh, this isn't an optimal blue eyes deck, but it's pure. I'm going to cook with it. I'm going to cook with it. Watch. I'm just, just watch. Just watch. If you don't believe me, just watch. Uh, but first, let me modify the extra deck really quick. All right, again, not optimal, but I think this is what we're going to go with. Um, I, If you guys have any ideas what I should call this series, again, we're just... What are these called? Okay, they, this doesn't have like a, a name. I don't know. If you guys got a unique name, um, let me know. Unless I think of one between now and then. All right, let's go. All right, and we're on a rank up duel. Um, I have no idea how this deck's going to do. I've been ranking up with, I think, Egyptian God cards, but it's more optimized for the current meta. Blue Eyes deck, not so much, but who knows? I just got to believe in myself and my little pal, Blue Eyes, who is probably not going to be on my shoulder for this entire video. All right. Starting with Pot of Prosperity, going to banish three to six from the old extra dick. Let's see what type of cards they're working with. Oh, no. Blue Wanderies. I might throw up in my mouth. Not an awful hand. We have Melody to search out a couple. Uh, Dictator of D, Ultimate Fusion. It's not terrible. All right, that is what's going to get them going. I'm going to say no to that with a little infinite impermanence. The answer is no. How you do that? Wait, wait, I, I just, I just, well, I understand this one, but how did you? I don't understand, but I, what I do know is I need to just get rid of this opponent as soon as humanly possible. That's not going to be easy when you do that bullshit, is it? <laughs> It was flu. I, I didn't stand a chance. Next duel. All right, we got unlucky in that first matchup. It was flu. Nobody loves flu. Nobody respects flu. And if you play flu, nobody loves you. All right, it's just a fact. And he played Dimension Shifter. There was truly not much I could do in that situation. However, I just have to believe that this will be a different outcome. Elemental heroes. Oh, don't bring, just don't bring out Dark Law, man. Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck. Send one of the fusion material. Excuse me? Am I being trolled? All right. I activate Dictator of D. I will send away a blue eyes white dragon to call forth Dictator of D. And then I will play my Melody of the Awakening Dragon. And I will send away my blue eyes white <laughs> jet dragon. And honestly, I should just go El Clasico. I should go El Clasico on him. And then I'm going to play Melody of the Awakening Dragon. 
and I'm gonna send away White Stone of Ancients, and I'm gonna grab a jet along with an alternative White Dragon. If I could get rid of this Dictator of D, man, I could just finish him off with just my Neo Blue Eyes Old Man White Dragon. Oh yeah, you know what? I think I still can. I play. Ultimate fusion to call forth my most powerful beast by sending away three blue eyes white dragons back to my deck. I call forth Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon! Royal finish, by the way, because I deserve it. Then I activate Dictator of D. And I will send away my alternative dragon to grab my blue eyes jet dragon onto the field. I'm 99% sure I'm playing against, I don't know what this is, but kind of embarrassing. Just to flex, AKA bring out my other jet. I guess I could have destroyed his card and got the same effect and more damage, but who cares? Come here. Oh, no, actually I'm not gonna activate that. No, I don't need to. I'm just going to hit you. And then I'm going to hit you. And then, my ultimate dragon will send you to the shadows! Easy. Easy. E well, it should be. I don't know why he just played that and then ended his turn. But nevertheless, up to gold too. I've been playing lately, all right? I got a diamond border around my name. I always got to remind people. Look at this diamond border. Wow. Gasp. And now they have the master rank or something like that. I could easily get master rank with just this deck if i wanted to i just don't want to right now who's my next opponent who's my target i'm gonna go second because i think uh i don't know blue eyes going second more likely for a nice little schnasty otk hot oh i can't say i love this hand but you know what i just have to believe in my deck uh i will simply top deck my chaos form ritual spell oh andy 720 720 so a 360 when you turn all the way around. So you're gonna turn all the way around twice and you're still gonna be looking around. You're still gonna be looking right at the man who's gonna send you to the Shadow Realm. Thoughts? Dark Magician versus Blue Eyes couldn't be more fitting. Although I must say, I have slight fear. This is my win con, really. I don't think Dark Magician can do anything against Chaos Max. Because even if he gets that uh, that silly little continuous spell out, it's not like he can target my Chaos Max. Do I stop this? I'm just gonna stop it. Uh, I'm just gonna stop it. I'm just gonna say no. Is this card on here the same card as his Might? Look at that. Look at that card. Now look at this. Are they the same? Ah, yes, Tamai is the United Dragon. All right. Well, if I knew you had that in your hand, I probably would have negated this instead. But I will live with my decision. Probably. Bruh. Amulet Dra- Bro. Bro, you scaring the hoes, bro. You really just went manga accurate on me, bro? Is this what they do in gold? Watch me lose to this, though, because look at my hand. <laughs> I need to draw any playable monster that can get destroyed so I can bring out a jet or something. Just just don't be ass. Just give me something, please. Please don't. Don't. Just, just you know what? I'll even. I'll even. I dropped it. I'll even draw with you, game. Okay, that'll work. Sorry, I didn't understand. I'm not talking to you! All right, I am simply going to play my Sage with Eyes of Blue and activate Sage of Eyes with Blue and go ahead and grab my... Hmm, why Stone of Ancients? And then I am simply <laughs> going to have the riveting turn where I turn this into a Linkoribo. Hopefully he bricked. Quite embarrassing to lose to this guy. It could happen. It could happen. I'd be depressed. What? 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 Oh, brother, apprentice, illusion, magician. Really? That's your big play? You son of a bitch. How dare you? Might as well. I'm gonna take some damage here. Unfortunately. But I will live with it. Ah! Wait, it was just a bluff? Ah! I sustained damage. There's a hole in my field. There's a snake in my boot. Oh, but you put that in the worst possible place, player. I play White Stone of Ancients. Then Sage with Eyes of Blue. Sending away my White Stone of Ancients to the grave. To special summon my beast. 
a true level 8 dragon, unlike your amulet dragon. Blue eyes, white dragon. And now I'm going to, uh, wait, read. I'm going to read first. During damage calculation, if your other dark spellcaster battles. Yeah, good thing I read. Good thing I read now. I'm going to get rid of you first now. And guess what? Since I destroyed that, since I have a blue eyes on the field, I can bring out my jet. Wow. Meow, meow. That's the sound of jet arriving to the field and uh destroying you do i want to send it back to the extra deck no take this 100 damage card is destroyed target one spellcaster in your graveyard special summon that target see if i would have read that i would have uh wouldn't have i wouldn't have destroyed you i would have sent you back but i'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player i don't read reading is for the weak attack mode you embarrass it everyone bro you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to main two and just in case you act up and get that little uh you know what? i could do both i could do both i'm going to build the overlay network and bring out drag lubrion yes lubrication yes then activate it i will detach my blue eyes white dragon so i have one in the grave and i will bring out my number 38 hope harbinger to negate any spells that you have and attach this as material. <laughs> you could shred. Ain't no way, brother. You're playing Thousand Knives. I mean, I, ha I have no choice but to negate it. I will negate it. I can only do that once. Uh, that could be bait. Uh, but I think his deck just sucks. And I know uh, somewhere out there, there's a Dino Rhyme style screaming at the screen. Why did Dark Magician player do that? That Dark Magician player doesn't know what he's doing. What are you doing? One for one, you're one for done. Ha! <laughs> Got it! Watch this, partner. I will simply discard one card, allowing me to special Sama. I'll just turn it into Striker Dragon to throw hands, I guess. But also, since this was sent away, I can go ahead and treat myself to a blue eyes white dragon. Attack mode. Attack mode. Wait, math? Not enough. Oh, wait, but I'll get a jet out. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. My brain is working. My brain is doing things because I need to see the new animation. I have to say it. I tribute both of these for my blue eyes white dragon. Yes. And then I will destroy your dork magician with my harbinger. Yes. Activating Jet in the graveyard, calling forth Jet, and my math was off. Damn it. <laughs> That's fine. Attack directly. Attack directly. And I'll end my turn. Oh, and it looks like that game. I'm not going to be, um, he's an innocent one. He's an innocent individual. Blue Eyes White Dragon. One lightning shot! Damn, I found a whole ass comment on my arm is that? Again, if you guys have any ideas for this little um for this little series, uh let me know. And uh we'll definitely I don't know. I it'd be a fun series. Just get these until I get them all. I'll go second. The stone tablet series? Because it's on like a little tablet, right? A little supposed to be like a little tablet kaiba ass hand right here at least I have an ultimate fusion if i draw my third blue eyes i am literally kaiba i'm literally Ka and it's tier limits Woo! i'm only excited because if i can beat tier limits with this deck it will bring joy to my life this is post nerf tier limits so they got rid of the shufflers and stuff or there's only they only have one of each shuffler um, but we also have to look out for the, uh, is it by steel or Dino says B steel. And I feel like that's not wrong. I'll probably wait till his end board before I use imperm because my thought process is he could actually help me with Kelbeck actually. Cause if he sends away like my white stone of ancients and plus ultimate fusion can use cards in the graveyard. So if he sends away the right cards for me, which really is just any other blue eyes, then I can bring out Neo blue eyes, ultimate drago. And I should be able to cook. Maybe I should stop Kit Kalos. Here's my fear. If he brings out the tier limits card, I forgot what it's called, but it's the one that prevents me from special summoning. That would shit all over my strategy so regretfully i think i have to let this play out and save imperm for that situation specifically we got this in the graveyard so we're going to be able to search out that last that last blue eyes so we'll have all three in hand rue close this one that is 
what I've been waiting for. That's what we're going to imperm next turn. All right, activate this. So it's actually best, or it actually worked out well that uh, we're going to be searching out this blue eyes, unless he gets rid of it right now. Okay, this is actually going to work out because White Stone of Ancients is going to force him to use his rule close effect at least once. All right, Kalido Heart, Kaleidoscope Heart. Grab my blue eyes white dragon. And we got all three. Oh, you couldn't couldn't have scripted it better. Kaibo would be salivating at the mouth looking at this. Special summon. This card is reduced by the level of that targeted monster. Place this card on bottom of the and leave the field. Okay. Oh, it's a tuner as well. Who's the level 11 synchro? Oh, not you! Not you, man! While your life points are less than or equal to your opponent's. Synchro card is unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. That is going to be tough to deal with. We're going to activate this nevertheless. See if he activates real close. Sure does. The way it works is he sends it away and then it just comes back, right? And if you do destroy it, send one tier elements card. Wait, what? You can negate the activation, which he did. And if you do destroy it, then send one tier elements card from your hand or face up. Why, why did he not send one away? Is it because it wasn't destroyed? Somebody clue me in. Ooh, hold on. All right, first we got to force him into some stuff, right? We got to do mental gymnastics, man. All right, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just see what happens here. I'm going to do this. See what he does. Basically, I want him to run out of things to do. All right, I'm going to lose 500 attack. And then this thing gains attack, right? So this thing is going to be a beast. Uh, and I and it's unaffected too. I have no idea how I'm gonna get over that. Let's grab this. All right, and since that was sent away, now this can return Sage with Eyes of Blue to my hand, right? That's fine. So this effect is done. We don't have to worry about this effect anymore. Now we're watching out for this one, who can negate the activation of a special summon or whatever. So we're gonna imperm this in. Basically, things are going according to plan for the most part now. I expected my field to get empty again, which will allow me to use Imperm to negate you. I don't know what I'm going to do about you yet. Wait, it's only unaffected by opponent's activated effects. And Dragos to Paleo. Ooh, it doesn't get much worse than this, boys! <laughs> Wait, Ultimate Fusion pops cards too. I have to set? Oh, okay, we're locked into this now because I can't unset it. All right, then we're going to set. And then we're gonna set, and we're just gonna end right there. This was risky, but I didn't think I have a bloody choice, do I? Does this have to be main phase? During the main phase, okay. Now is the time, ultimate fusion. Okay. Then we negate that. I don't think this is gonna work, man. I don't think this is gonna work. All right, and then we also got that row. We bring out... <laughs> By throwing three of my blue eyes away, I call forth Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. An Ultimate Fusion? Wait, Ultimate Fusion? Use from the field. Okay, I didn't read the from the field part. Damn, that card would be really good if it wasn't from the field. I don't mind getting that counter right now. Uh, does this count as an activated effect? Ultimate creature of destruction. I can't be destroyed by battle. And you're destroyed! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, it's not an activated effect. My strategy, impeccable. Although he can just get rid of me next turn <laughs> with Kaleido Heart. If he has anything that he can, he can't use this though. He can't send anything away to activate that. Hold up, hold up. Did we just game him straight to battle? Straight to battle, destroy Dragos to Palea. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? It's just Mudora. It's just Mudora. That's fine, because it goes away once you're destroyed, right? Or the counter doesn't go away, but I'm not negated anymore. Yes, go through. Go through. Activate. Send away. I can attack up to three times, player. 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 Three attacks with Neo Boys Ultimate Dragon, Royal Finish, send him to the shadows! Yes! Woo! They was doubting me. They, you, you were doubting me. Not you, not you in the back, but you, you right there. 
Expert gaming. It doesn't matter the deck. I can I can have a fourth rate deck, but I'm still a first rate duelist. You can hand me give me a random card. You can hand me a be god knife, but I'm still a first rate duelist. You can hand me a pinch hopper, but I'm still a first rate duelist. Never forget, if I lose, it's because my deck sucks, but I'm still a first rate duelist. Stay tuned for the next one, and uh, let's see what we pull. Blue eyes, this one. Ha! <laughs>